In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an entry level NLP data science project. NLP stands for natural language processing. So basically we'll be doing analysis with text data. You learn how to find what words are used the most, when they are used, and some other hidden patterns that lie underneath the data set. And here's what you'll need. Some sort of textual data, whether it's a book, in this case, I'm gonna be using a book. It could be a magazine, a series of articles, some sort of text file that you can analyze. Two, you'll need access to Python. We'll be doing this project using Python, specifically the library NLTK, which is awesome for these types of projects. And three, 30 minutes. I'm gonna do this demo in less than 10 minutes, and then 20 to 30 minutes after, you'll be able to recreate what I did because I'm giving you my exact code. Just check the link in the description down below, and I'm gonna give you my exact code that you can basically just input your text file and recreate the whole thing. You may or may not know this, but I'm an active member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or more colloquially known as the Mormon Church. And I'm super active. I go to church every Sunday. I've been working with the teenagers for about three years now. And I even served a two-year church mission where I was in Sweden, and I got to teach people about God and also render service. We're a Christian church, so we believe in the Bible, but we don't only believe that God just talked to people around the Jerusalem area, but he also talked to other people around the world, including people in ancient America. And that's exactly where the Book of Mormon comes from. It's basically the Bible, but instead of the people of Jerusalem, it's the people in the ancient Americas. So I decided, hey, this is a pretty interesting book. I wanna do some text analysis with the Book of Mormon. So first you need to start with your text. So I just searched Book of Mormon text file download. Clicked on this first link, which is from Gutenberg. They have a lot of different books. You see right here, 68,000 eBooks. And I went ahead and downloaded the plain text file. Then I went to Jupyter Notebook and launched a new Python notebook, basically had it blank. I started off by saying what libraries I needed, which in this case was just NLTK. This is like the awesome, most best, easiest way to do NLP data just off the gate, NLTK. And I had to download these two different parts of it, which was punked and the stop words as well. Next, I just opened up the Book of Mormon text file, basically using the open feature in Python. Um, I read all of that as the text into this raw Book of Mormon document. Then I took that document and passed it into the tokenizer from NLTK and created the find words text Book of Mormon object. And then I took that and passed it into the text, which basically is a finished searchable version of the text. And that's all the prep we have to do. Now we can actually get to analyzing the text and learning insights from the text. So the first thing I wanted to do was just figure out how many words were in the Book of Mormon. And turns out there is about 313,000 words in the Book of Mormon. I found that by taking the length of basically the text, right? Next, we use a cool NLT uh, ability, which is called count, and you can pass in a phrase or a word. So for instance, I passed in the word Christ, and you can see how many times that word was used, which is 384 times. There's also a really cool feature inside of NLTK called concordance, and basically it just shows you 25 uh, out of the 386 matches of where Christ was used, and it puts Christ kind of in the middle, and it takes the X amount of characters before and the X amount of characters after. So it gives you a feel for how that word is used. So for example, this particular one, it says Jew and Gentile, that Jesus is the Christ, the eternal God manifesting himself. Um, here's one down here at the bottom. And we are made alive in Christ because of our faith. Let's look at another one. But there is a God and he is Christ and he cometh in the fullness of, one more. And after the law is fulfilled in Christ, that they need not harden their hearts. So you can kind of get a feel for how a word is used inside of the text, which I think is pretty cool. You can also do something called similar, which basically says, you know, what words are like used similarly to Christ? I don't know exactly the algorithm that goes behind this, but if you look at NLTK similar, I'm sure you can figure it out. And you see that I got results of God, them, Nephi, men, Israel, it, him, the, Zarahemla, you, man, Jerusalem, darkness, death, all hosts, etc., etc. Another one is like what is commonly used when Jesus Christ, like when both these words are used, of who, of and, of they, of Nephi, of save, of it, of whom. Kind of interesting to see some of these. I like this one, that showed. That one was interesting to me. Um, like what, what did Jesus show? I think that's really interesting. This is probably my favorite thing that we can do. It's called a dispersion plot. And basically it just shows you how often a word is used when. So I listed all these different words. And basically each one of these lines represents that it was used in, in that word order. This is kind of like a word order, right? So like, for instance, you see God is used almost, almost every word it looks like, right? It's used a ton, 
Mercy, there's these sections right here where mercy is said a little bit more frequently than others. Like over here, there's a good prayer section. It looks like, you know, peace has maybe two deeper sections right there. So I think it's cool. You can basically see like when the Book of Mormon talks about different subjects, like at different points inside of the book, inside of the frequency. That's actually going to move us next to the frequency, where I'm basically going to show you the top 25 words. Um, of course, you, you want to use something called stop words to remove some of these dumb ones like the, of, and that, to, and they are probably going to be the most common words in almost any text, right? But maybe like some ones like him or there or shall um, are some of the more interesting ones that uh, came from this frequency. And then lastly, I did something called collocations. And basically, this is just like two word most common phrases that are said together. So said unto, say unto, holy ghost, thou shalt, passed away, um, holy one, Jesus Christ, must, needs. These are just some common phrases that are said a lot in the Book of Mormon. So there you have it, a very shallow, very brief introduction to NLP. You can basically take this and turn it into a project with your favorite text or some interesting test that would be interesting to a job you're interested in or a hobby you're interested in, something like that. Um, obviously, you can go a lot further in depth than I did. You can check out the NLT documents. They have really good documentation and really cool examples to make these awesome NLP projects really come to life. That's all I have time for today because I am building 30 data science projects in 30 days. I think today is day 21. Whew almost a week left. That's it. I'm giving all of my code and all of the data accessible for these projects. So make sure you click that link in the description down below. Make sure you hit subscribe so everyone knows that you love this channel. And if you want to keep watching my videos, I suggest these two right here. See you later. Bye.